everybody, what's going on? It's Kevin, East Cape Skiffs, behind me. A 2014 Glide. This Glide's going down to South Florida. It's gonna see some action in the Keys, as well as in the Miami area. Of course, uh, Everglades. As you can see, the Glide is 17 feet long, 58 inches wide. Max horsepower is 20, uh, excuse me, is 30. It comes in side or tiller. One of the things I want you to notice, we've got the two different colors going on here. We have the friction hinges from Genlux is something new. This glide features a built-in gas tank. It has a 12 gallon gas tank for when he's doing those long hauls. Um, just because a glide is a smaller boat does not mean it can't handle the big water. These spray rails are what you see on the Vantage as well as the Cayman. This one's got Lavorsi lights. He also has a new EPA regulations. He opted for the uh, canister, the fuel canister, where some might obviously not have a vent and the vent's coming out the top. But um, the Glide, just an awesome little boat. Going back further, you'll notice that he's got the removable grab rail here. He wanted that to be removable in case he wants to duck down low as well as a pulling platform. It's got a built-in front bulkhead, obviously for the built-in gas tank. Rods, you can handle up to eight rods fore and aft. Um, the other thing is, is he wanted a seat cushion in the back. We also have the raised all grip non-skid finish. Finishes off the boat really nice. Also our hold to deck joint, um, nice and slim. It's not fat and nasty and our rub rail is nice and straight. Um, of course the boat is vacuum diffused like everything else we do here. Um, but the seat cushion falls forward. You have this much space underneath, actually you have about to right here, and basically all your raw goods, your life jackets, your big giant boat bag, all that stuff that's odd shape that you don't want to take up raw storage and that you would get to all the time, you can get to it easily right here. And then again, it's not in the way. Then, moving further back, we have a back storage. Again, friction hinges. This one, left clean, but you can make this a live well, a cooler. You make this dry storage or wet storage or both. Here, the only thing he has is a battery and a battery switch because he opted for the 25 horse. Our friends at Carbon Marine, Joe Wellborn, we love you brother, thank you. He's got the uh, tilt and trim going on right here. And it's also removable, a little snap plug right here. So he has a 25 horse uh, Yamaha on the new glide, holding platform, angled a little bit forward, low. V-Marine push pull holders on the other side. These are the best push pull holders out there, guys. It spins on and off, doesn't hurt the pole because of the rounded spool design. The other thing about, uh, again, I talk about the Glide. The Glide is a niche. The Glide fills that gap between our old boat, the Gladesman, and uh, our bigger boat, the Cayman. If the Cayman is a 10 and the Gladesman was a one, this is an eight and a half. But, spins on a dime, very, very dry, has a little bit more V going through the boat. So again, it can take that stuff. And just, it's really laid out. We can even see the tricked out little, um, electronics box that we made under the gunnel. Our employee Tanner came up with the idea. We love it, Tanner. Um, you got the nav lights for the front and the rear as well as the bilge. This boat does feature a bilge pump. The premise of, or the purpose of the glide is keep it simple, but as you guys know, you can deck it out, you can keep it mild, you can take it to wild. But again, here's the first look at the glide 2014. You guys take care. See ya.